Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com well, We've made a lot of uh, videos with the Elementor, a lot of it using the free version. Today we're going to be using the pro version. You can download both the free and the pro version from my affiliate link below this video. Today we're going to build this form. It's a custom form. It's really easy to put together. You've got name, email, subject. You've got a radio button here, you can select one of two, and you've got uh, some selects here, which you can select several. You've got a message, and you've got a file uploader, and also an agreement, and of course, a send button. So let's get building. I'm gonna to go to a page that doesn't have it on it. I'm gonna hit the Edit with Elementor button. Let's go down to where we wanna work. And here's some of the free widgets that come with Elementor. I'm going to use one of the paid ones today. I'm going to use the form from the pro version right here. Just drop it in there. And that's it. It's pretty much created our form. So here are the default fields that it's given us. Name, email and message. You can select each one. And you can decide whether it's required or not. You can change the placeholder and all the other details here, the, the the title or the label and the type of field that it is, is a text field, it's fine. I'm gonna keep all these, name, email, and I want a message. So I'm gonna make them all required. Required, fantastic. Message, I'll make that required. No point getting a blank email. Okay, so I wanna add another one now, so I'll just click on that to close it up. I'm gonna add another item. I'm gonna call it I'm going to have a text field. I'm going to call it subject. And in the placeholder, this is the placeholder here where you see your name, your email, and there it is down there. I'm going to put subject also. I'm going to close that up and I want it below my email right there. So it's just move it left click and move it where you want it. Okay, so let's add another item. And let's add a radio button this time. So it comes in as a blank. It sort of puts its own title in there. We hit this little drop down of type here. And we don't want an email or a text area or a URL. We want a radio button. Radio buttons let you select sort of one of, of two or three things. And what should we call it as a title? And we'll make this required also. And the options I'm going to have is corporation, uh, company. Personal. You see we've got two little radio buttons right there. You can add more if you want to, but they'll only be able to select one. So that's fine. Okay, so let's add one more. This time we'll go for a checkbox. There we go, checkbox. And we'll say interested in. Interested in. And the options will say web server or web hosting. Virtual server. email system making this up as I go along <laughs> or app development and as you can see we've got uh, little check boxes here that they can check multiples which is what we want we've also got the option to have it in line so it stretches out that way we could have done that with this one too in fact let's go back and do that with this one inline list there we go and what else should we add let's close this one up add one more i guess we'll add a file upload oh 
Oh, I know. We'll, we'll say an acceptance. So we'll say agreement. We'll make it required that they check it. There we go. I agree to the terms and conditions. And let's add an upload. File upload. And there we are. They can choose a file. Okay, let's. That doesn't want to be required. Um, we'll give it a title. Max file size, let's keep it fairly small to about 3 megabyte. Don't want them locking down your email system. Allowed file types, we'll, we'll say JPEG dot JPG, comma, ping dot PNG, comma. What else? A PDF dot PDF, comma. And I guess we could have a text file as well. There we go, and that'll do. Multiple files, I'll leave that for the time being. If you want to be able to upload more than one file, you can just check that one. Max number of files you can put in there, but I'm going to leave that one off. And again, the width is 100%. You could change these to 50% if you want to make them side by side. But I like mine spread out this way. Perhaps I could change those to... Let's just change these. So we've got business details. And we'll say 33%. And we'll put interested in as 66%. There we go. So we've got them side by side there. I guess we could do the same with this one. So we'll go to agreement. We'll keep it on the left, keep it small. And again, that only needs to be about a third. Or we could do 50-50 with these, I suppose. So we'll do 50%. And for the one below it, we'll do 50% for the upload file as well. There we go. And we've got them side by side also. Okay, submit button. Obviously, that's our submit button. Let's add an icon. Elementor Pro comes with a fantastic, fun, awesome icon set, which has got a huge amount of real quality icons there. So, let's add that right there. Don't need to give it a button ID because we're not doing anything. Actions after submit. Well, we just want it to email. That's absolutely fine. Down below, we've got the email. That's pretty important. You want to put your email address that you want the form sent to there. Here, you can decide what the email subject line is. New message from Elementor Pro. It's fine by me. Or you say new message from whatever website you're building there from email well it's from your email address for your local site here from name you can change that to whatever you want reply to what well, we want to reply to whoever puts this email in this field here because we you know want to reply to this person so let's select email field there and you can carbon copy or blank carbon copy to whoever you want Advanced options, form ID, we don't need any of that. So all we need to do now is go to style. I'm not going to really change any of these styles at all. You can change your columns, gaps, labels, backgrounds, you can curve the edges, do whatever you want there. And here's for the fields, change the borders and everything like this. The only thing, I'll just give this button a bit of style here. Button background colors fine. I'll leave it as is, but on hover, I'll just change it to blue. Uh, 
and text color can stay exactly how it is messages and this is for your success message color well we want that to be green for sort of green for go error message we'll make that red because error is usually red and inline message for anything else we'll make that blue light blue there we go and let's pop into our advanced tab here I'll just give this a bit of padding top and bottom because I'll make the background a different color in a minute so I'll uncheck that I just want to do the top and bottom so I'll say 70 top and 70 bottom that's absolutely fine so we're fairly well done with this I just want to check back through messages we've done that we've done the coloring on that Now, if you want to put custom messages in, I'm back on the content and I'm down in additional options. For instance, what it says when you sent this file, hit this custom messages to on, and you can change your message here. The form was sent successfully, it works for me. When it doesn't work, an error occurred, that's fine too. And for a required field that's not been filled out, this field is required. Fantastic. And if something else is wrong it'll put up there's something wrong the forms invalid if they haven't filled something out or done something or done something incorrectly so that's all there is to that form really let's just change the background of our section this blue tab up here is for the section I'm clicking on it I'm going to go to style background type just going to make it a dark grey colour which will be uh, Hashtag 222, which is a real dark grey. And there we have it. I'm quite pleased with that. I guess we could make those the labels white if we wanted to, but I think that works for me. So let's save our changes. We'll hit the update button. And hit the little eyeball to preview our changes. Go down to where we were. And there's our little form, all ready to be filled out and sent. We'll get an error because I haven't put the correct things in here, I'm sure. Make sure the radio buttons work, company or personal. Yep, you can only select one. We can select multiples of these here. That's fine. Agreement. I agree to the terms and conditions. Choose file, I'm not even going to hit that, that'll ask me to upload a file from my computer. I'll hit send, we'll probably get an error message of some sort. Yeah, because that's incorrect right there. So there you have it, there is how to build a custom form using the Elementor Pro. That's a nice form, You've got some great options on there, really easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again I'll mention you can download both the free version and the, the pro version from my affiliate link below this video. Once again this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.